Let's see him. Johnny, come here. Up there, look. Coming down this tree here. Oh, he's gonna bounce. He's looking off to the, his left. Off like a shot. We found Artasia. He's just sat in a tree. Just a couple of feet in front of me. The most remarkable, bizarre little gremlin I've ever seen. It's kind of almost like a hodgepodge, a mix of other nocturnal animals. Those huge eyes and the swiveling, turning head are very much like you'd see in an owl. And the great big, thin, membranous ears and those sharp teeth are more like those you'd see on a bat. But in its own way, it's even more effective than either. This is the consummate killer of the night. And let's see if we can see those incredible teeth in action. He spotted it straight away. Look at those eyes, straight onto it. Look at that, he's just a metre above my head. He's getting ready to spring. Yes! Oh! That was awesome! And he's going to settle down over there somewhere and munch his way through that huge cricket. Wow! Back legs seem to be completely disproportionately long to the body and allow it to make massive springs bouncing in between the trees, particularly if he's seen an insect that he's going to leap on. He could easily bounce three metres or so to just about any tree around here, so it's really, really difficult for poor Johnny, our cameraman, to try and, <laughs> try and keep him in the shot. He's just the most impossible little gremlin. His ears are just moving in every direction, just focusing the sound, almost like a satellite dish. And he spotted something. He kind of sees something. You can see his ear focus on it. Then his head goes around. He sees it with his eyes and, and then boing! Just pounces off and grabs it. and a bite, all in one. Look at that, mouth full to bursting, cheeks bulging with bush cricket. Look like they weigh about half as much as he does. Though the majority of their diet is made up of insects, things exactly like this bush cricket. They will, if it comes down to it, feed on mammals smaller than themselves, lizards, frogs, they're not fussy. 